This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Okay, so we all know from what Darren has said that Wine is pretty awesome, but it can be really complicated because you have to go through each of those programs, you gotta change settings, you gotta get the compatibility issues to work with all the different Linux distros and yada yada yada. It can be kind of a pain in the butt, there's dependencies and all that good stuff, right? So, there's this program called Play on Linux. It has a whole bunch of programs pre-installed in the GUI, and it can be downloaded to work in Linux with just a click. Play on Linux uses Wine as its backend, so you're already using the easy GUI to install those programs and games, and it also installs whatever version you need of Wine to run any specific programs. So, no dependency hell! Yes! We can't get any better than that! Although there is a little uh, iffy moment there, they don't support piracy, so you still need to have your CD or whatever your license code is for the different games or programs, say like Microsoft Office or a specific game that you had to purchase and you had a little key on the back of it. Yeah, you still gotta have those. Now today, I wanted to go ahead and install a couple of apps to give you an idea of what it looks like and how easy it is to use. Now if you go over here, I already got it installed, and the first thing that you're going to see is this little window right here that has run, close, install, remove, and configure. As you can see down here, I don't have any apps installed yet. I don't have any programs, nothing on here from Windows, so I can't go ahead and go in here and run a program. Over on Play on Linux in the Actions, you can choose Install a Program, Settings, or Your Messenger. Now if I click on Settings, I get file associations, the extensions, and the program that is associated with each one that I've installed, any plugons that it's requiring, and you can also change proxies, which is kind of cool. So you don't have to install things over any kind of a, like open network. You can do it straight from a proxy. It's awesome that they include that. Now I haven't set up a proxy, but I just want to say install Amazon Kindle. So I'll click on install a program, and this takes me over to this big menu. This is going to give you a list of everything that they have available. And if you want to, you can even check out some apps and different programs that they have for testing purposes as well. Now I can choose to download different ones right here under testing, but that's going to tell me that it's testing installers. Play on Linux cannot ensure that your app is going to work without any problems. So it's letting you know ahead, ahead of stance that, hey, there might be some issues if you try to install something. It may not work. We're still working on those. So I don't want to install any of those. Also, no CD needed. If you click on this, it lets you know they do not support piracy. Therefore, they won't give any support to patch your programs. Now, I'm going to unclick that. And if I go into accessories, I see they have a whole lot of choices. I can click on Amazon Kindle, and if this is a program that I wanted to install, all I would have to do is go down here to click Install. Now I've already got this one installed. It does take a little while to download. I'd say like 10 minutes or so for it to actually refresh and get into your program list. And I have it running back here. There we go. So this is my Amazon Kindle app. They do have an application for Firefox and Chrome now, which is great because you can run Firefox and Chrome on Linux, obviously. But if you didn't have one of those already installed or you just want a separate Kindle app, you can do that. It's really easy to use. You just put in your username and password for your Amazon uh, account, and it automatically downloads all the books that you already have in, uh, that you have already bought through Kindle. So I have a book pulled up here, and it works exactly like it does on Windows. It's beautiful, it's really easy to read everything that I want to read, and it's, it's simple. I mean, it's got a super easy GUI, so you don't have to go into Wine, you don't have to you know, do all the pseudo app get stuff and download every single thing separately and all the different dependencies and all the different backends. That stuff just kind of drives me nuts sometimes. So I just wanted something that was really simple, really easy. And I got to thank our buddy, uh, Evan Oberman. He sent this over as a over to a feedback at hack5.org. And thank you so much, because this is super great. It's really easy to use. There's tons of stuff in here. Uh, you can also see, if you go into the games, so many games to choose from. Now, I know that they're still working on Steam right now to get that working. So if you don't want to wait, you can still get your WoW on. Right here. <laughs> no, I'm not saying play WoW, because I definitely don't. 
yeah, not a big fan. Anyway, we'll have links to download uh, Play on Linux in the show notes, and you can also find it in the Ubuntu Software Center. So, of course, very simple. Coming up next, we'll have some viewer feedback questions from you guys. But first, a quick break. If you're setting up a website to start a new business, showcase your portfolio, publish your blog, you guys know how we feel. It's all about getting the right domain name and you can do that over at Domain.com. And consider it to yourself getting a little .com action on. That's the original, it's globally understood, it immediately lends credibility. And if you're into like buying and selling domains, .coms have the best aftermarket value. So you can find your new .com over at Domain.com. You guys know Shannon and I love them. They're reliable, they're easy to use, they're affordable, plus Domain.com makes with their social media presence at Domain.com on Twitter, such a great customer experience. It's so fun to do business with them and it's why they are such a huge fan of us and you guys want to hook you up with 15% off their already affordable domain names and hosting. All you have to do is use the coupon code HAK5. When you think domain names, think Domain.com. <laughs> 